go. <laughs> You know, I know so we're a little out of practice, but half, <laughs> when they count down on air, they stop counting at like three or something. So here we Anyways. are at 73. I think yes. we're ready now. I love it. Thou creating mountains where the valleys used to be. And all the things I thought I knew were changing like the sea. Yeah. Well, hi, welcome. We are hi. downtown Grand Rapids yes. today. We decided yeah. to shoot on location at Oh Hello. Yes. This very, very fun store right on Monroe Center, oh, uh, right downtown. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so Heidi and I had a, just a girls' afternoon out, what, a couple weeks ago, right? We did. Right before your birthday. We did, yes. And we found ourselves just we wanted to come downtown and explore and find out what there was yes. to shop and you had you know. gotten news that potentially could have had a not so great yes. outcome yes. and um, it just seemed like a day that was perfect for getting out and about and and just having some fun exploring Grand Rapids it and was. little did we know that there's treasures like and we walked past the window display is really what brought us inside so we were walking down and it was a really gorgeous day I mean one of those oh beautiful February goodness. days mm -hmm. and we walked past and I'm like we we got to go, go we got to go in there go you in know in. which was kind of funny because we didn't go in other than this there store, was a there, I mean, ton of other options, yeah. but this one, this drew one just invited you, you in. in. And from the moment we walked in and started checking out product, we're like, oh, we this didn't even is hardly great. make this it past the front door. <laughs> we were laughing so yes. hard by the we end were. of it. And we were. It we were was, here for like what, 45 minutes? Oh, easy. We looked at easy. everything in the store. I mean, and we just, we did. It was yeah. that, that belly laugh, just yes. looking at everything in here. And I'm thinking every, oops, sorry. Every winter, it's going to be either go to Frederick Meyer Gardens to get a dose of something that doesn't mm -hmm. feel like winter or just walk through here and yes. start really checking out their, their inventory and what they offer because it's pretty special and it's really fun. It is. And it, it, it will make you laugh and smile no matter what kind of, mood you're in or yeah. no matter if you what kind don't of person you're not you even are. a person well yeah, I, I just can, I can imagine. think of some people that wouldn't think it was super funny but they need to just learn to have a good sense then of maybe humor. they need to just so come through come here, here more often because I'm looking at a stuffed mushroom that I'm like how do you not smile toast yes so the day that we came in like yes. I said it was right before your birthday mm -hmm. and yes, uh, it was. Heidi will you show everybody what we got what I walked in here out. Yes. so dear Sarah <laughs> got me what I can only describe as the world's best birthday gift. That's right. This <laughs> is a purse. Now you say, I see a phone, and you would be right. Best part is, said phone is functional. It connects to your cell phone, and I literally talk on my phone like It's the this. best. It's got a volume control. It's got on, off. And you I'm can use Android you, or it has both cords for Android, Android or, or Apple. Apple. The yep. price was shocking. I was it expecting was quite a bit more. Yep. And I can only say this is one of my most prized possessions. It is a statement thing because I carry this all over the place and everywhere I go, People stopped me to talk. Okay, no, about people my stopped us that day when we left. We got all kinds we, of free stuff because I'm we having got called with into my different phone. stores because they thought we were so fun. Like we were taking photos of you, and they were like, "You, you guys are fun. Come in here." So, it but seriously, great. but look at this, and it's it's a functional it's got, purse. It's very functional. It has plenty of room for what I need. It's beautifully crafted too, I and mean, it's I high quality. seriously, it sits right where I can see it all the time. And I still just smile and love it. How can you not? It's got the carry handle. You can make it into a backpack style, or it's got the long over the shoulder strap. This thing, come in here so and get versatile. it. They've got a whole bunch of colors. They it's do. Just they just so have, much they fun. just got new colors in yes. too since we've been here. So yeah. because you know you want one, or you know someone that must have one. I totally love it. Thank you. I still yes. love <laughs> my birthday gift so I much. I think that is amazing.
it is amazing. Yeah, we were we were just amazed by all of the different things that they have in here. I mean, it, it mm -hmm. is things I've never seen before. I mean, their amount of For plushies sure. that they have are oh, unreal. But they're special. Like, like they're we just got this one for Addison for her birthday. She loves boba. <laughs> and I was like, I've never seen a boba yeah, plushie before. And, I know. and they're so soft. And, and we gave it to her for her birthday and she absolutely loved it. We also got her a purse that is that a mushroom. Is fantastic. And she says, she says, I'm going to wear this everywhere all the time. <laughs> like she just yes. I understand. <laughs> I will pick her up and we will go together. I love it. I love it. It's I mean, just so good. such unique things. And I know that they have, uh, I think that they have around 60 local vendors that they get things I from. I wondered, I started seeing some mm -hmm. certain things that, number, that I know come sure. from another vendor, but the vendors that are in here are quality, mm -hmm. great product. If you cannot find something in here for that special occasion, or so just treating yourself, right. or you just need something to make you smile, you haven't even opened your eyes to look. Cause it's, yep. I know I'm looking over here and I want to like grab them all and just sit with stuffies <laughs> like all pretzels. over me. I, I've never I seen know. a pretzel. There's toast, there's bread, there's I, just everything. Have and you seen the watermelon over here? I have, and He's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. There's so good. but there's jewelry. There is mm -hmm. there are cards, very unique cards over here. Beautiful there's puzzles. Socks mm -hmm. and art supplies and stickers and patches and yep. games, great baby journals. gifts. If you know somebody that's had a brand new one, there Creative is some of different special things. things. Like the colors are great, the designs are great. Mm -hmm. They're not your run of the mill primary color type exactly. things. These are Oh, glorious. avocado. Because you yes. know you want an avocado. Oh, and it matches, so you can sit right here with me. I love that so you much. You know you want an avocado. Yes. I mean, he's got pink cheeks. I for, can't even for real. It. I know. Okay, I've got a friend. But, good. yes. So, speaking of babies, you have oh, exciting news yes. that has happened. Yes. So, a week ago yesterday, my daughter, Hannah, had a baby girl. Her name is Myla. She is doing amazing. She is beautiful in every single way. And to say that I am smitten is a huge understatement. I just And this I is adore granddaughter her. number one. <laughs> it's, yes. I want to say I believe it's about 28 years since there has been a girl. So this has been oh, that's it's been special amazing. for so many reasons. Yeah. I would have loved this little bugger if it would have been another boy. But I have five grandsons now and mm -hmm. one granddaughter, and my goodness, I, I can't get enough of it. So I love it. Thanks, I know. <laughs> and you took some photos oh, that are so melting my studio. heart. Yeah. I know, I feel like I'm holding her now. Had, right? She's so, a little bigger than that. But she yeah. is. She was, she was a 10 pound, five ounce baby. I know. Mm -hmm. She's a big girl, but yep. she's so Sweetest, cute. Sweetest, biggest little squish face. She's got cheeks, cheeks for oh, days. Oh, goodness. I just love it. Yeah, she's just going to be so beautiful. I, know. I love it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I so, uh, so some stuff. Good He's things gonna sit right here. Just good things happening. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And you? Did you yep. want to update a bit? Your... Yeah. I. So I did want to talk about that because. Um, so I have my left mastectomy coming up in mm -hmm. two days, and uh, nice. then I will have delayed reconstruction, which I finally just got a surgery date on that. Yes. That's going to be May 10th. That's not that delayed. So and I'm really wonderful. excited because originally they said three months, and then when I talked to them yesterday, they said six weeks. And so I thought, oh, good, let's just you know get Perfect. this get this going for and sure. So that'll bring me out into June for my third surgery, and then I can finally start putting my life back together after that. And then it's so. back to yeah. what's going to be normal now. Yep. And they so. took me off the tamoxifen yes. because I was having dangerous side effects. You I mean, look like your overall appearance seems so much better oh, I than the feel last few times like a million I had seen bucks. you. The I could tell you were just, pushed to your edge. It, I was. I really mm -hmm. was. I mean, it was. So I met with my oncologist, and she said, you know, if it was just kind of the the more typical side effects that they would have kept For me sure. on it and things like that. But I was having like vision issues and everything, headaches with vision issues, and they thought maybe not blood not. clots. And so sure. that's not something I want to mm -mm. play with. Mm -mm. So yeah, they're going to uh, force me into menopause. That will start next month. And once my ovaries have shut down and I'm in forced menopause, then yep. they can put me on a hormone blocker. Okay. Um, if I do not use the hormone blocker at all, if I chose not to do anything, mm -hmm. and my if I even have one little cell of cancer, it will. Go. They can't treat it. 
So if it ever came back, like oh. in five years or 10 years, if it came back, if I did nothing, it would be untreatable. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. So oh, that's why goodness. I have to be on something. Wow. I have a stupid question. Is there a reason they don't remove ovaries? So you, and I asked that too. I was like, can't we just while I'm surgery, just like take the ovaries For out? That's sure. all I have left. I don't have a uterus or anything. They're I already just had a hanging out in there. Like... Um, but you have, uh, you have estrogen and progesterone, progesterone. from mm -hmm. other areas than just your ovaries. Got and it. so that's the problem. So they're, so it they're not make... stopping the production of it. They are putting a blocker in between. So here's the cancer cell, here's the hormone that Got feeds it. it. Yep. And they're putting something in between it to block that causes the that food hormone to the, to be yeah. So then the cancer cell will just die because it has nothing to feed off of. Got it. And so I thought, okay, well that, okay. that makes that, more sense. Yes, because yeah. I was, as you were saying it, I'm like, it seems like the most efficient thing would be but right. as you said, that's not the only yeah. source. So, so it was kind of a cool, so you know how we talk about everything in our life that if we look at it the right way, everything can be used Yes. and can be, it all makes your entire story possible, all the mm -hmm. puzzle pieces. Mm -hmm. So part of them putting me into menopause was their concern was bone density and sure. things like that. Well, because I just had my bone marrow biopsy, I know for a fact oh. right at this moment, I have very, very dense, hard yes. bones. And so I was like, well, Me that's cool. Too. Like, I guess I'm not <laughs> as worried about that. Um, and I also already, I had low vitamin D, so I was already taking vitamin oh, D. And perfect. that's something that they wanted me to take anyway, so my body's already used Wonderful. to that. So it's just a lot of things that, you oh, know. Good. Yeah, yeah. So good. And so the things that could be an issue or a worry are already being addressed already taken or you care have of. the answers to. Yeah, yep. So I just, you know, and it's funny because uh, my anxiety heading into this next surgery yeah. is higher than it was for my initial surgery. I believe that because and I, you yeah, know. The, I think the first time around, it was such a whirlwind of I'm going a thousand miles an hour. I'm working seven days a week. I'm coming off the high of art prize and then... Yeah stop your life except don't stop your life because I had to go for all the testing oh, and the yeah. biopsies and everything and, and so my brain never even it's, had a chance you jumped to out process. of one race car into another I totally one. did you never stopped yeah and so the first mm -hmm. time I was like oh, okay well <coughs> we're, we're doing this no big deal yeah. you know like we'll go in I just had a blast like I was yes. joking <laughs> around with the doctors and then and as the time has gotten closer so my anxiety started about four days ago sure and as the time is getting closer it's, it's causing all of this, I really like how I feel right now. You know what I mean? Got I'm not on it. any of my meds right now. I'm feeling a thousand percent. I'm getting things done. I'm like being productive with my, with my life. Work is going well. Yeah. And I have to stop all of that. And it's, it's more of like a, like a conscious, this is what I'm choosing to yeah. do to take care of my health because I don't have to have my left side taken right now. Right. I'm choosing to. Choosing to. And so that's I think also you're a doing different, the right thing. I do too. I want this out. Mm -hmm. I want it gone why, so that I know. Why leave it just. Yeah. I mean, I don't want that to ever be a possibility sure. again. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm already in this season of my Unless life. Unless so you I might like well the Uno boob, then rock Man, it. You know what I thought of though? Like after Thursday, I don't have to wear a bra for a long time. Like. Even after I get my implants in, I don't. I probably won't have to. You know you so, won't. So I don't know. It's just. Oh. But yeah, there's a lot that my brain is having too Which much is time better to for process you, right for now. your body, anyways. Yeah, yeah, it is. So in hindsight, you know, it's like. Well, yeah. I don't wear bras any, anyways right mm -hmm. now. I wear all the ruby ribbon things yes. that I've been wearing. Yeah. But then I'm like, well, I don't have to wear those right now because I won't have anything for them to be right supporting. You know, so you know how nice that's going to be for the I'm summer. I'm kind of excited. You're not going to have boob sweat anymore. I'm not <laughs> going to have boobs. <laughs> going to have chest sweat. <laughs> so I think oh. I'm going to come to your house, though, on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. I've got a huge Sharpie, like the super, it's like this big around. Gonna and I'm going to write no chloroprep <laughs> everywhere. Well, everywhere. Yeah. Skull and cross bones. Just, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So it's funny because I actually was re-watching the videos um, that I had made yeah. during that whole process last yes. time because I, I wanted to remember what, what it felt like and what the recovery felt like in my mind frame and all of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't really compare this to that mm -mm. because it's, I'm probably not going to have, hopefully, hopefully, you not will gonna not have the complications. We're going to speak Right. You will not have these so same I'm all like, am I going to be good in like a couple of weeks? Like what? I don't even know what it's going to look like, but I, know. I have this sense of like, I have to get all these things done before my surgery. Mm. And I had this whole entire list that I wanted to get done. 
And now I'm just kind of like, no, I just want to be. Like, yeah. I just want to be and enjoy Perfect. and just feel good. Perfect. And this, the weather is amazing. And so I literally threw that list out and I was like, I don't I'm so have glad. to get anything done. Yay. I wanted to film with you here because mm -hmm. I was so excited to do that here. Because you know, look at this place. But other than that, I don't have the, the feeling of like, I'm so a countdown. Glad. You know Good. what I mean? Like I have to do these it's things. Better. So I think it's better. It's better than insanity going right up into mm -hmm. it. And yeah. I'm yeah. so glad you did it right. Yeah. We've done a costume change. We have changed what do you clothing. Think? We wanted to show you some other options that they do. They do great embroidered they items do. that they do themselves. Yes. Here we are. We'll bring our embroidery close. Um, no salt and no sharks, which makes the Great Lakes the best. And I'm just out in space. And then in my fabulous pants that I think I'm gonna wear forever. But those and flares, the bell bottoms, so flared. good. Love them. So good. Get down in here and get some cute, fun things to wear. It changes your mood. It. You can't walk in the store without being completely happy. I put these on and immediately started smiling because it's it's comfortable, it's fun. Yes. It's, yeah. And I love the name of it too. Oh, hello. Like, I know. Oh, hello. <laughs> it is, it's just so oh, great. Yeah. I love oh. to tell people where we are. Hello. Oh, hello okay. with the phone. It's perfect. I know it is. Whose phone is that? <laughs> Heidi, you had one job. <laughs> Unfiltered, mm -hmm. completely unfiltered. It was Wendy. She's sitting in her dialysis chair and she goes, I just all of a sudden started bawling because the reality of what's happening is hitting. So mm. she just said, I wanted to let you know that I love you. And she said to say hi to you. So, oh, she's the best. She's so sweet. I think that's so important to acknowledge your emotions when you're going through things. Agreed. And I'm glad that she is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm glad. I just, uh, I had just been speaking with some women the other day about, you know, told my story and I went to this whole event and everything and uh, I had shared that it's, it's not all happy all the time, mm -mm. you know, that I can put on a brave face and I can smile my yeah. way through things. And but sometimes that's important to do that. Sometimes you absolutely. have to. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. you but need the other. There has to be room for those yeah. emotions as well because otherwise sure. they just get bottled up. So yeah. I'm glad that she's yeah, she is. letting and herself yeah, feel that she way. She said, I haven't allowed myself to really believe it mm -hmm. because I didn't want it to be taken away if right. I let myself believe it. Mm -hmm. But she goes, I don't want you to feel pressure because of that and I'm like I feel better when you're just speaking openly because right. you know I have it in the back of my mind there's that slight little thing but so far it's great so yeah yeah, yeah. no I totally agree so sorry about that's... that little interruption my phone is no off now. I I love interruptions I think that that's great <gasps> shall we get back to work now? yeah <laughs> shall, we, shall we get back to things now <laughs> um uh, you want that it's super cute isn't it yes <laughs> We can help you find all sorts of See, fun and a things. day like today is perfect for people to be out and it shopping is. in downtown Grand Rapids because yes. it is glorious. It's mm -hmm. like 60 degrees and sunny. And in it's Michigan in March, that is, I mean, even for Addison's birthday, we were trying to think the last time that it was this warm. Beautiful. And I think it was 13 years ago when we moved into our house that we're at mm -hmm. right now because she was turning three. Okay. No, 12 years ago. Sorry, I can do math. Um, no. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, good math. Uh, but she had she had little leggings on and then a sundress because Aww. I think that I had dressed her in like leggings and something else and then the weather got really nice for yep. her party and so I ended up putting a sundress mm -hmm. on her because it was just gorgeous out. I think this winter was a gift for you. You I needed so too. something yeah. for your soul because mm -hmm. this has been, oh, I'll take winter like we had all the time. Oh yeah, and the, this is going to sound really selfish because the weather's not just for me, but... <laughs> it isn't? <laughs> it is beautiful today and tomorrow. Yes. It is then going to turn really crappy Thursday through whatever. And then it's, we're going to hit a cold snap for mm -hmm. the next two weeks. You're recovering. In my recovery. And I was like, I know the weather's not just for me, but that's kind of exciting. <laughs> I appreciated it. You know, isn't that funny how we just like took it, did we take it and think that did you say all it like of that, Michigan like, is just for us, I know the us, weather right? isn't just for me, but like, yes. <laughs> it kind of is. I, I love it. I love it. I'm so, But so yeah, I glad. love the way that Grand Rapids comes alive in the spring, but 
I really feel like they did a great job this year with the World of Winter. They've it done that the great. past three, three or four years. They've done World of so Winter. Good. Levi so, still yeah. talks about it and how much he likes mm -hmm. it. He tells me about all the different features that they mm -hmm. had and what he loved about it and they regularly went walking and and checked it out it was really cool yeah and i and i really i appreciate the people that are making all these decisions for grand rapids you oh, know for just sure bringing a lot of attention to it bringing a lot of different mm -hmm. activities we just got done with laugh fest again yeah mm -hmm. exactly so it doesn't just become like a ghost town in uh in the winter time Grand Rapids is much more pedestrian and family friendly it is. than it was when I was growing up. And I love it. I love seeing people out and about on yeah. the city streets. I love seeing people just walking and shopping, mm -hmm. like leisurely things, not the all business going to work or going to Secretary of State, but it's families with kids and going it to is. Rosa Parks or, yep. you know, seeing the stuff in. I love it. I'm a people person and I love to, except when I'm home, then I like to know people. Right. But <laughs> there's my secret. A nice blend I of the both. I love people, but I live where I do. And mm -hmm. I, I oh, don't ask me to give it up right now. I couldn't go the other way. Mm -hmm. No, I but think that's I like them. the best of both. It kind know? of is. It's a lot of driving sometimes. I don't, but I don't know if I could live down here, but I we live so close to down here yes. that we come down here all oh, the time. Oh, for sure. You know, for and sure. And it's so funny because some people are like, I've never even been downtown, and I'm like, why? How? What? You need to go. You know, check I mean, it out. Yeah, and it's this it's place the would be great city. for them to start with. I think come so. Come down here for here. Absolutely. This is great. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, if anybody's looking for birthday gifts or just a, a get well gift or just an, something for yourself to make you smile every day. Oh, there's something just, you know, even they have like basic things for home, like from cookbooks and they kitchen do. gadgets, but they're fun. They're cute. They're special and very inappropriate. So if you need <laughs> <laughs> that's what made us laugh so hard at each thing, <laughs> the boob book. Oh, that made me so happy. So the first yes. time we came in here, there was a boob book and I was very excited to see that they had, I mean, they had all different kind of they did. boobs and they, they had one that was like an X and then the boob. And I was like, yes, they even had me. the right side. It was so perfect. Yes. And oh yes, we're, we're getting the, the boob book now. So there is, we literally looked at every page of this, by the way. So in there <laughs> read the is whole thing. no, right so way for just boobs all, to look all, just like all people boobs. they are completely athletes individual. east west i have to find the one that was mine yes but I, it just made me happy because i feel like it was very here this is the one like that it's called the survivor mm -hmm. pretty soon i'll just have both sides that look like yeah. that <laughs> but, but that normalizes every body every shape every Thank size you. it does every scenario all of it because i think this is i and i know this for a fact mm -hmm. women have come to believe that their chest is supposed to look a certain way and none of them look the exact same and unless you've had them custom made to exactly. do that and but yes because like the goal like we're supposed to look like is a surgical goal mm -hmm. it's no natural no woman yeah looks like what we think we're supposed to look like so if and we don't look like that we think there's something wrong and that's why i loved that book yes that's yeah. all real it normal was. women normal people so let's just embrace the normal and be and thankful loving what it's you not have. a cookie cutter world yes, so exactly yeah because we need each one of us because i mean we've talked about this so many times that how boring would life be if we all looked the exact same if we all oh. did the exact same thing you mm -hmm. know it just that would just be yeah where's the variety not a colorful world yeah. at all it would just be yeah. so boring. it wouldn't matter that you and aaron were married who would care you'd, right you'd be just he'd be the same as any 10 million other options exactly. so i guess yeah that one's as good as any. Yeah. So lucky for you. <laughs> yeah. But I think, yeah, it was, I, there are a lot of things in here that talk about, <laughs> it boosts your self-esteem, but mm -hmm. not in like the, mm, the cheesy kind of, it, they're very creative with how they, they boost your self-esteem in real. here. It's very real. It's like, yes, there's no nonsense. There's no yeah. fluff. It's just, this is, this just is how real. it is. And you know, it's, yeah, boobs yep. and it's sketches of boobs or yep. Yeah, they don't try to 
West Michigan nice it in the way it's talked about or yeah. it's just this is it this like, is real this is what women look like and let's embrace it there's washcloths that say be less of a hot mess like, yes so you can clean your <laughs> I know. I but I, know. I love that. You know what I mean? I know. It's, like it's if I was so... a vegetable, I'd be a cabbage. I mean exactly. like stuff like that. It's just plays on words and just yes. silly, funny. Creative, funny, just mm -hmm. outside of the box. That woman's got a super cute pink octopus she's walking around with. Why wouldn't you want a super cute pink octopus? I can't I mean, now that I have it's like wrapped around and draped over her arms and I'm like yeah. it looks like the perfect accessory. I totally agree. Put it on a band where it like bracelet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, we're going to take some, some video in here and show yeah. off the different products and just support our local mm -hmm. businesses. I think that's so, so important. I agree. You know, and, and there's been an explosion of them downtown, especially like after like post-COVID. I feel like some of them left and then new ones have come yeah. and it has just kind of transformed the city mm -hmm. and so it's not like going to the mall or going to you know all of the typical stores yeah. that you could go to don't order from amazon come in right shops. because they need you because when you shop here you are supporting this local business but yes. you're also supporting all of the vendors that are in here as well and so you're, sure. you're supporting all of these people mm -hmm. and i just think that that is is so important that we keep our money in our community right. Yeah, here. and we build each other up and yeah. we, I mean, and it's the same thing for if you've got a friend that, you know, does like the, a small business in terms of selling things, for you sure. know, like makeup or hair products or, you know, things that you're going to use every day. Support them. Go through your friends, like go through those people Support instead it. of, you know, ordering from the giant stores and Agreed. it might cost a little bit more upfront. But what you gain? And that's just it, you know? I mean, it, when people look at prices, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so overpriced. And I'm like, but it's not. It this is, store is not, I will say. No, it was, not at all. The it prices was here less than I was expecting, for yep. sure. Yep, absolutely. For sure. So yeah, I, but, I love that. Go ahead, you were gonna say something. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, alongside with just the fact that it supports them, I think of that day and what it was for us. Life-giving. It didn't cost us anything mm -mm. to come on down here and walk the sidewalks, yeah. check out some stuff, have a blast in here, yeah, and just play and get out. It is, I highly recommend it. Get out of your house, get off we the computer, exercise, don't order from walked. Amazon, just yep. grab a friend and go play and have fun. Yeah, so that's our challenge to you. I yes. mean, Michigan's gorgeous, and especially mm -hmm. right now, you know, as spring is coming and before life gets totally crazy in the summer, just get out, come downtown, come and support businesses, mm -hmm. come and just explore to see what's down here and, and have fun. Do something new. Yeah. Do something you haven't done before. Yeah. Let's bring just, shopping in person back yes. again. Oh, yes, yes, please. I mean, it was great, you know, while we were all mm -hmm. sitting in our houses for COVID, but COVID's gone. So it's all gone. Get out there and explore mm -hmm. and have fun. Who were you can try clothes on? Yes. See how they fit. How do they feel? Exactly. How do I like this together? Yep. Don't worry about returns. You walk out with what you want. Hi. Hi. Come be friend. on camera with us. Hi. <laughs> this is why you oh, come to stores in yes. person. You get to meet beautiful friends. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yes. This is Bing Croft. Oh, you are and so sweet. And he is the kindest, gentlest, most <laughs> sweet soul. And I am utterly smitten. If I could fit oh. him in a phone purse, he'd go home. Look oh. at him just sitting You're like down. a movie star. <laughs> Oh yes. Oh, I have Heidi a prop. Is, Heidi is the dog people oh. person. She's the dog whisperer. I love them. I love you. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, this is oh. makes me miss Little our jersey. Boy. I'm gonna have to bring you a bow tie. Yes, I love that. Thank you. I wanted to get you on camera. So come on down, make some friends, have yes. some fun, buy some stuff. And join us for the next episode where we will be filming from a whole new location. I wonder where we're going to be. <laughs> I know, it's oh, going to be so I can't exciting. Wait. <laughs> Good boy. Bye.